Hello, welcome to a tutorial for Bloomsbury.com. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to register for the site, request an exam or desk copy, and sign up for our newsletters. You do not need to create an account to browse or use the site. However, it is necessary if you want to sign up for newsletters or to request exam or desk copies. To register or log in as a user on our site, click on the login button located at the top right of the home page. This will prompt you to enter your existing username and password if you already have one. Or you can click here to create a new account. When registering for the first time, you will be asked to enter your first name, last name, email address, and password. And please remember to read about our privacy policy. When complete, please click on the register button on the bottom of the form. Check your email for the registration confirmation email from Bloomsbury. If you haven't received it after about five minutes, please check your spam folder as it sometimes gets sent there. Once you receive the email, click on the link to activate your account. You will be brought to a page that says your account has been activated. You can now click on the login button at the top of the page and now use the login for existing customers. Congratulations! You are now a member of the Bloomsbury family. If you already know what book you are looking for, you can simply use the search function located at the top left of the page. Type in the desired information. Click the drop-down arrow here to narrow your search parameters and then click on the search button to reveal your search results. Now let's explore the academic section of the Bloomsbury site. By hovering your mouse over the academic tab, a menu will appear revealing your options. Let's go to browse subjects. This brings you to a page listing all the academic subject categories covered by Bloomsbury. By hovering over a subject category, another menu will reveal more detailed subject options. As an example, let's hover over Anthropology, then move over to the Anthropology of Art subject heading. Click on the desired section, and you will be presented with all of the books from Bloomsbury covering that subgroup. This list includes the price of the book, its format, and when it was published. For more information, Click on the title of the book you're interested in. Here you will see more details on the title, as well as the Request Exam or Desk Copy button available for professors or academics seeking our titles for possible adoption as a required text in their courses. Not all academic titles have this button, only those that are textbooks. Let's touch on the Request Copy button. Once you've made your selection, another pop-up will ask if you wish to continue browsing or to check out now. If you click on check out, you will be taken directly to your bookshelf to complete the request. For now though, let's continue browsing to search for more books. When finished, hover your mouse over the bookshelf tab on the top right of the screen. You will see a preview of your bookshelf here. If you like what you see, click on the submit examination request button. This will bring you to the first step of the checkout process. Please fill in the name of your educational establishment, what type of establishment this is, your department, and a telephone number where you can be reached. We need your phone number just in case there is a query or delivery issue. Once finished, continue to the next section of the form to provide the requested course details. Make sure to read the terms and conditions located here before clicking the check box and proceeding to checkout. On this page, please provide your shipping information. These details will be saved for the next time you order from Bloomsbury.com. If you have not ordered something from us before, you will need to supply us with a mailing address. Please double check it before submitting. This final screen confirms the information you are sending to us. Please double check that everything is correct. 
If you need to edit your shipping address, click here. If you need to edit anything else, click the Edit button here. Once everything is correct, click on the Make Request button. As you can see, your request has been submitted. You will receive an email with your receipt, as will our sales team. Your order will be approved or rejected by our sales force and processed within 10 business days. However, if the book hasn't been published yet, back orders will occur. If you want to check out the status of your order, click on the My Account button. Click on the Examination Copies tab. And under Feedback Status, you will see if it's been approved, declined, or still awaiting feedback. You will also receive an email when this feedback status changes. If you would like to receive our email newsletters from Bloomsbury, click on the Newsletters tab. Click on the desired categories to select which one you would like to register for. Once you've checked your chosen categories, click on Save Changes. Based on your selection, you will now receive emails regarding new titles available from Bloomsbury. For any further inquiries involving Bloomsbury's titles for your course needs, please contact us at askacademic at bloomsbury.com. Please remember to include the title, the ISBN, the name of the class, how many students are going to be in the class, when it begins, and of course don't forget your mailing address. You can also find our contact information by clicking on the Academic tab, then the Examination Copies tab, and then scrolling to the very bottom. This concludes this Bloomsbury tutorial.